Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Carl Rob. Welcome to Suzu. I teach you how to build a Discord to play music bot for your server. Today we are starting with the fun stuff, so we're actually going to be getting our bot connected to a voice channel. And once it's connected to, we're also going to be disconnecting it from the voice channel because that is a very important part of it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up some of our error handling. So we're actually going to use a, a different error handling method than before. We're just going to have some uh, manual raises. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, come down here and create some errors. So we are going to do class uh, already connected to channel and we're going to have that import from command error. We're going to pass that and do a class called no voice channel um, which takes a command error and pass. And what these two things will do is these are just uh, different errors we could raise. So whereas we could raise say uh, a type error or an attribute error or something like that or maybe like a discord.forbidden if I could type, there we go we can do a raise no voice channel and it will essentially just raise a different version of command error so uh, you'll have this command error and, but it will actually work as a no voice channel so you could so you could do like if is instance exec uh, no voice channel or or some of like that for for some error handling stuff which we're going to be doing in this video as well and it would it would catch this particular error it wouldn't catch every single command error found so that's a different way you could do it of course you could do the error handling however you want i'm just going to be doing like this because i want to show this particular method off uh, if you're more comfortable with a different method then by all means use that there is uh, going to be no harm in doing it so with that little bit of setup out of the way we're going to be creating our commands to connect and disconnect from the channel. So we're going to create three functions down here, or three methods. We could do, well we actually need to do a decorator first. So we do commands.command name equals connect and generally speaking on these things you get an alias oops, of join. Uh, and then you go async connect command self ctx star and then you channel you don't necessarily need the star I guess because the channel is going to be one word oh no because the voice channel can be multiple words okay never mind so we're going to uh, did we actually import typing I don't think we did no we didn't okay so we need to come up here and we need to import typing as t I'm going to import it as t uh, we from typing do uh, we did a lot of uh, from imports in the last series I've decided not to do that this time um, because I've been I've been enlightened on the ways of potentially not doing that all the time. Uh, it's it's good to do it sometimes, but uh, there is such a thing as overdoing it, which is something that I have learned recently. So that's why we're not doing that. And we need to pass in a Discord voice channel. The reason this is optional is that if no channel is passed, we're going to connect to the channel that the user is already in. So we can get our player using our our. Uh, uh, our get player utility and we could pass the context in so that will go through this one it'll do the commands to context it will get it uh, from the context it'll pass the context in etc it'll do all that fun stuff it handles that automatically for us um, and then we can simply get the channel and then we can do await player dot connect uh, ctx channel now this is something that we're actually going to be implementing in the player class in a second. So this is a custom thing we're going to do. Uh, uh, but we're going to get all the commands and stuff done first. And then we're going to do await ctx.send um, and it needs to be an F string. Connected, whoops, connected to and then just do channel.name I guess. And then boom. So that is our connect command done. Of course we haven't done the connect functionality but we're going to come back to that. Um, so you could do connect, oops, yeah, it would be, no, it would be at connect, come on, there we go, uh, oh my goodness, I cannot type today, uh, connect command dot error, anyone watched the previous series will recognize this way of doing errors, because um, we did this last time, of course this is optional, you can do it sort of, uh, from an on error if you prefer, you don't need to do all this stuff, I'm just doing it like this, um, in case people didn't know I wanted to learn. So if our error type is already connected to the channel, plus it, it makes it a bit easier to, to see what's actually going on in this tutorial, I think, personally. Um, so you can see tx.send already, oops, connected to a voice channel. 
so that will send if the bot is already connected to the voice channel if we have raised this error, which we're going to be doing inside the player class. And then uh, LF is instance exec no voice channel. Await ctx.send uh, no suitable voice channel was found. Um, well, provided, I suppose. Not found. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that is our connect command. We're going to quickly write out our disconnect command when we're down here. We don't need to do any uh, error handling for that. We do need a decorator though. <laughs> uh, name equals disconnect and then generally speaking you have an alias of leave on these things. async def uh, disconnect command and we're going to pass self to ctx. Where you get the player again, so self dot get player. We can use the context again. Uh, await player dot disconnect, which is a, another custom thing we're going to do, and then just await ctx to send disconnect. Cool. So these are all the commands that we're actually going to need in the um, uh, in the cog. So we can come up here into our player and we can start overriding some stuff. So we can create an async def connect, which takes self ctx and a, a channel which could be none. And we have a disconnect one as well, which just takes self and ctx. So we're going to write the disconnect one first because it's actually it doesn't take ctx at all, it just takes self. We're going to write the disconnect one first because it's really simple. So all we need to do is try uh, await self.destroy accept key error pass. Now I presume the internals of, of this player object store everything in a dictionary or something. Um, so I'm presuming uh, this tries to destroy the connection otherwise if it can't find it in the dictionary it just it just assumes it's already uh, disconnected and doesn't go any further. I'm presuming that's what it means. I'm not 100% sure. I just got this from the uh, the main example from the people that wrote it. But yeah, that's the thing. And they also call it teardown for some reason. I don't know why. I'm going to call it disconnecting this to make it a bit more clear about what it's doing. Uh, but if you prefer teardown, then you can call it teardown. So in our in our connect, we first need to check if the channel is if, if the if the player or the bot is actually already connected to a channel. So we could do if self dot is connected uh, raise uh, already connected to channel. So what I'll do is it will check the bot is connected to the channel and if it is it will raise our custom error up here. Where's the mouse? There it is. Raise our custom error up here already connected to the channel which will trigger the thing down here and send a message saying already connected to the voice channel. We could of course send the message in here but I elected not to do that just to keep things a bit clearer or cleaner. Um, so if that doesn't happen we can just do um, if channel and we need to actually get this. So it's get atra ctx.author.voice and we need to get the channel and there as well um, raise no voice channel is that correct? oh no it is none there we go at the end where's the mouse? Oh my, I can never find this damn mouse so what this is doing is it is attempting to get the channel from the author's voice state so if a channel hasn't been provided here, well actually first it will check to see if the if the, if the member is connected to a voice channel at all. If they are, it will set channel to be the channel they're currently in. If not, then it will attempt to set the value instead, because this is the fault, um, as the channel we're passing here, um, <clears throat> which will be set to none if this is none on a channel if it's set to a channel. If that is all none, then we can raise no vo uh, voice channel, which means that no uh, suitable voice channel was provided. Otherwise, if everything works as intended, we can just do await super dot connect um, channel dot id, and uh, we can return the channel back out, ready for the um, the message to use it to display the name. Um, 
There is we use a super, we can't use self because we've overridden the connect here. So the super will essentially just say we need to call the wavelink.player connect. Um, so this is kind of just an overload in a way. We're just adding extra checks to make sure everything's okay. So that should be fine actually. So we can open up our terminal, pi-3.8 launcher.py and everything should just kind of work <laughs> in theory. Um, so we will see. So I will, uh, well first do checks, I'll connect to our voice channel here. And then we'll just do a connect, I suppose. That did absolutely nothing, what happened there? Okay, so in these instances, um, this is where we actually need to to grab the error. Now for some reason, if you have these connect command errors, these just completely override the standard error handlers. So we can actually come back into our bot and we can just define on error real quick. Um, and I mean it completely overrides the entire functionality for it. Um, so we just need to manually define the thing and then just raise. Uh, that will probably give you some sort of error if you're on pilot, but it's it's not a problem, I promise. And then on command error self context exception, this actually takes like way more stuff self error and then args and then quags and then we can do raise um, let's see if I can remember what it is get atra exception original exception uh, okay so this will just raise the command error if there was one uh, we do the original thing here just to get rid of some bloat and then the raise so this should now actually give us an error if something has gone wrong I don't know why it just gets completely overridden. Because normally the default um, behaviors, they get written to the shell, but if you have any, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, but there's clearly some sort of error. So command is not defined. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I noticed this in editing. This is commands, not command. I noticed that in editing, I was like, oh god, I'm going to forget about that, aren't I? Yay me. Uh, so we can get rid of these now, otherwise it will just be annoying. So if you're getting her, it's kind of awkward, <laughs> but it does work. Again, you might just want to use the on error and on command error for this sort of thing, but we're not really dealing much with the error handling. If you want to know more about that, I, did, I do have some other videos uh, detailing more about the error handling process in my main Discord device series, but this should now work. There we go. Connected to Lava Link, and then if we disconnect. What the? <laughs> what happened there? Maximum recursion time. Well then, that was an interesting error. Self, it just constantly calls itself. Oh, I think I've worked out why. I, th I think, I think, I think the player object might already have a disconnect function. <laughs> uh, that's the completely wrong file. Um, I think I think this might exist. <laughs> so yeah, I think this does actually need to be called teardown. Interesting. It's, okay, I didn't test that in planning, so that's my bad. So self to destroy obviously just calls some sort of uh, self disconnect. So we could in theory do super dot disconnect, but this destroy is there for a reason. I would say there's a reason that they didn't just use um, the disconnect there. So I'm guessing that's why it's teardown. Okay. Well, that answers the question I had in my head. We, we all learned something today, uh, but now we can actually, t I did want to disconnect anyway because I wanted to test if this worked. There we go. Actually we should probably, I should probably disconnect and try that again. Disconnect, cool, so that works. And then connect lava link. Okay, so it finds the lava link, it connects to it, fan dabby dozy. However there is one more thing that we want to do before we end the video, and that is to disconnect the bot automatically. So to do that we can come into our on voice state update here and we can simply replace this pass line with uh, await self dot get player uh, and we can pass this is one we need to pass the guild uh, we don't have a uh, we don't have a context we need to pass the guild so we can go into our player and it will go through this line instead we will just grab it through here ultimately it's the same object and we can tear down I don't think we need to pass anything and then we don't uh, so this at the moment is just a really simple implementation. It will just uh, disconnect the bot when all the other humans in the channel have disconnected 
Uh, you can get it to wait. You could probably do something like um, await asyncio.sleep if you had asyncio imported for 300 or something and then do an if check if this, the thing is still there, whatever. We could potentially put that here actually. Just do await asyncio.sleep. Uh, or maybe do like a wait for. I don't know. You probably better do a wait for actually. We're not going to bother doing that. We're just going to set it to disconnect the moment we leave the channel because it's easier to look up and everything. Um, so if I just join on channel and then we do a connect, we do the big connect into Lava Link. And then if I leave, I'm, just, I'm, I'm done here. Everything dies. So yeah, we automatically disconnected and everything. So that is. Uh, the basics of connecting and disconnecting to and from, or connecting to and disconnecting from, sorry, a, uh, a voice channel. As always, if you have any questions, then feel free to leave them down in the comments, or you can join a Discord server using the link in the description. While well, you're in the description, I have a load of other links to all my other socials and connections and stuff, like Twitter and Facebook, so you can follow me all around the place should you wish to. But yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. If you liked it, then say hello down below. If you really liked it, consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, so you don't miss out on future uploads. And if you really, really liked it, then consider supporting me on Patreon. Of course, you don't have to, but it would be a really cool thing if you did too. With that in mind, I would like to thank my super patrons, Darky and Jackster, and I will see you next time where we talk about actually playing music. We're going to be actually doing the thing in the next video, so that's going to be fun. So I'll see you for that.